You've invented a new alarm clock called the Rude Awakening. What does it do? Let's me know in detail about my increasing debt and interest buildup. I want to sleep some more out of denial. Sleep some more cause I thought it's a bad dream. Wake up two hours later and be like, why TF did it increase again? So I'm deaf and I'm subject to this regularly. My alarm is connected to a disc that I place under my mattress. The disc vibrates violently when the alarm goes off, waking me up. I've been conditioned to wake up before my alarm most days, but occasionally I'll be in the middle of REM sleep and it'll go off. Talk about a rush. Edit, lots of people asking what I use, Sonic Bomb. You can find it on Amazon. I've posted it in the comments, or in my post history. Should be about $30 to $40. Keep in mind it draws power from your wall outlet, not battery operated, which means that if your power goes out overnight your alarm will not go off on time. Bought one of these because it takes super loud noise to actually get me up and I moved into an apartment. Doesn't work as well through a memory foam mattress. But I have never slept through it on a non-weekend weekday. Words are hard. Sounds like something I should look into. It also takes a really loud noise to wake me up. Hmm, I don't wake up to noise at all. I have slept through cannon fire before. When I had a baby, I literally had to turn it all the way to vibrate and flash mode to be woken up. Maybe I should look into this kind of alarm clock. How'd you set your baby to vibrate and flash mode? Press and hold the belly button for 10 seconds to access settings. How does one pretty a belly button? Put some talcum powder. It sticks a moist, finger-like appendage in your ear. I have a cat who pretty much already does that. I got the reply indentation wrong, and thought you had a cat that shoves an 18 dildo up your ass, saying surprise mother ducker. Every morning. It wakes you up on your days off even though you didn't set it. You just resurface some suppressed feelings I have. Oh the painful memories. It reads a list of everyone that's died since you fell asleep, their manner of death, and what you could have done to prevent it. Ronald Rezyman, 89, nothing Geraldine Brown, 94, nothing Sammy Johnson, 96, could have found a cure for cancer Brad Lamonte, 91 nothing. It rolls off the base while making that horrific noise Jim Carrey screamed in Dumb and Dumber while in the dog car. It keeps getting louder and doesn't stop until you put it back on the base. Edit, yes I am now aware something like this already exists. I did not know that when I wrote the comment. Please, please stop telling me this. Hey, wanna hear the most annoying sound in the world? E-I-V-I-V-N-E-H-E-H-E. Boys. Fellas, you think we could listen to the radio or something? Radio? Who needs a radio? Ready Harry. Mock. Yeah. Ing. Thing just throws you out of bed into a wall. Someone already made this, U2.B3 Rudmiza 08 question mark T69. This guy is absolutely mad. He built an underground bunker in his backyard and fires off explosives in it. Absolute mad lad. Based on this comment I'm assuming it's Colinfers. It is. Nuclear alert sound at full volume. I actually set this as my alarm. For one day. It's such a violent sound, hence why it's used, that it scared the shit out of me and I never used it again. Bonus points for combining it with an invention a friend of mine used to have. The alarm clock would shoot off a little fan which would fly some random place in the room and the alarm wouldn't turn off until you found the piece and put it back. So that with the nuclear alarm sound. Probably should randomly change between various countries' versions. Japanese tsunami alert, you'll sleep through that Australian bushfire evacuation, guaranteed to revive the deceased Canadian alert, you will be assimilated into the Borg, Seeking shelter is recommended, there are probably others that fall in between. Jesus Christ are you right Canada doesn't duck around. That hurt my ears. Worst part is that it comes twice, once in English, once in French. Ah yes, the old bilingual shoot and scoot. 
awakens you with an early 1900s insult in a British voice. The sunrise is nigh. Arise, you tallywag. Arise, you worthless chaperone. Or shall you henceforth lay in bed all day like the big girl's blouse you certainly are. If I were such a bespaller as yourself I'd surely choose not to inflict my body upon the masses, but your judgment is as poor as you are. Get up and take yourself off to work, you absolute fopdoodle. Edit, although I recognize it is uncouth and common to do so, I must extend my sincere thank you for the flattering awards. It brings a smile to my admittedly dastardly face. You have any more of these? Exactly the kind of insults I would like to have on command. Need some more examples to emulate. Certainly, you shagbag. It fails to shock me that a tattered amalian such as yourself couldn't rustle up the strength to deliver a sound verbal thrashing the likes of mine. I shan't hold it against a drape poke, for it isn't your fault entirely, but a greater loiter sack I never did see. Love your username, BTW. I wouldn't want to cut you off in traffic. I would. It pees the bed and then sends out a blast email text tweet telling everyone that you peed the bed. Ducking again? For the love of God you alien spores get it together. So basically it forces you to play Russian roulette with five blanks and one real bullet every morning to either wake you up or put you to sleep. Who needs coffee when you're running on pure adrenaline? A vomiting pet edit, dog tax. Indra.com edit 2, thank you kind stranger for the award. Edit 3, cattaxinder.com. I had a cat that liked to climb up on my wardrobe in the middle of the night. The only problem was he couldn't climb down. So this little ducker would perch himself up there like the goddamn dark night and just wait for the perfect moment. And then, as 4 a.m. rolled around, he would hunker down, do a little wiggle, and pounce. Directly. On 2. My fucking face. I cannot describe the horror that you experience suddenly waking up to claws, fur, and spasmatic flailing not to mention a terminal velocity shot right to the schnoz. That is your rude awakening. I still have PTSD whenever I walk past a wardrobe or tall cabinet. My cat will intentionally attack my hands if he sees them dangling off the bed. Therese nothing scarier than claws coming out from under the bed while you are sleeping and slicing you up. Hess banned from the room at night now. If my foot twitched in my sleep my cat would without hesitation attack and I'd feel his little teeth sinking into my toes. What a ducker. I had to ban him from my room at night too. Reads the president's tweets in Gilbert Gottfried's voice. Edit, thank you for the coins folks. That sounds terrible, but that's a great idea for a Netflix original. For some reason, I read your comment in Gilbert Gottfried's voice. Your socks get soaked at the prescribed time. Lol, who's out here sleeping with socks on? People with cold feet. Plays a jump scare to get your attention then attacks your insecurities. Ha ha ha, look at that high-waisted man. He has feminine hips. No that's the thing I'm sensitive about. It gives you wrestling legend Rick Rude's finisher The Rude Awakening. I feel like this was a no-brainer. It doesn't matter when you actually set an alarm, it goes off whenever the duck it feels like it. Are you going to be getting up early or are you going to be late to work? Also to turn the alarm off you have to guess a random 20-digit code. Sounds like you've met my cats. Plays the default iPhone alarm sound, you know the one, an hour before you actually set your alarm. Honestly just the default iPhone alarm sound is bad enough. It's a George Foreman grill that heats up then clamps onto your bare feet. Michael Scott As all cat owners are aware, the 3 a.m. ruckus is a very real thing. A cat will haul ass around the house either trying to catch a noisy demon, or run away from an equally noisy demon, I presume it's other dimensional shit because God knows I can't see what they're chasing. They knock shit over, they chirp and meow angrily, they may even bring the ruckus into your room. Anyway my rude awakening alarm plays that noise. Your move Reddit. That's just the I took a shit. Routine for mine. The 3 a.m. ruckus is pouncing me in my sleep and then running off before I can catch him. In the wild, most cats get the hell out of the area after they shit, because a predator might be attracted to it, making them easier to find. 
This of course leads hereditarily to domestic housecats doing it because they're psychotic assholes who like to fling litter everywhere and sometimes as a bonus still have a turd stuck to their butt which they drag off to deposit who knows where.